Hi! Welcome to Rita Marie Stitching Adventure, previously known as Stitching Marie. Uh, life update. So far, we are still having a holiday. Uh, the next few months will be very hectic for me. So we will just have to see how much stitching time I get. But I will update once a week still. Uh, and when I have gotten that into a good routine, I hope to get some stitch with, stitch with me in and doing some more tags. So my question to you, do you want uh, the tags to be on the stitch with me? or the weekly updates. Leave a comment what you think and I will do it the democratic way. The most people that wants what they want, that's what I will do. So, uh, let's go over to from the stash pile. Uh, Last time I forgot to show you an FFO I did and most likely since I don't have many FFOs I will show them in this first sequence. So this is a pattern that you know uh, if you have followed me for some time now. I finished this in January this year so I have now framed uh, the 12 Doctor's Clock by Clouds Factory. So I did just put it in a hoop and I painted with uh, acrylic black first and then silver just so that uh, the silver did get a nicer look when having the black behind. Use a uh, cardboard on the back. I haven't, I still haven't gotten anything over the back just because I don't know how to do it with the, um, yeah, the clock itself um, that's behind here. And then I did put the clock on. So this is how it looks. So I'm really liking this finish and in honesty no one is going to see the back because it's going to hang on the wall so there's that now over to whips uh, we all love him we all know who he is if you have been watching for a while or if you have like watched some previous videos from me. It's the one I first did a hundred day challenge on and I managed to do half. Uh, before that I had only stitched on this one three days before the first hundred days of hay challenge and now I am doing the second hundred days of hay challenge and we are now on day 33 Friday the 3rd of August and it's the 33rd day of 100 days of hay. I haven't stitched today so this is how far I have gotten in well a total of 135 days. counted and here he is so I did get a page finish so it'll I did get a page finish the 29th of July and I have just worked a little bit up here on him so far 
uh, until I was I, since I knew I was going to do my update so I could take him off the Q-snap and now I will move him and most likely I will work this partial page for a while because I want to do the dragon last because that's um, the biggest motivator. Of course I will work some on the dragon uh, uh, at the same time but try to get some of uh, the other details in first. So here is where he's at. In a way I'm looking forward to when he is finished and at the same time it will be really sad because I have enjoyed him so much. Two and a half page left and 71% finished when only counting um, the finished 10 by 10 blocks. And he is stitched on 18 count Ada, 2 over 1. It's just a plain white Ada. And it's sharpened by having an earth design. And it's uh, the artist is Randall Spangler. And next up. Is also a partial finish. I did work on my adventure weight cell by Caterpillar Cross Stitch, and here's where it is. So I finished Isha over here. Uh, so we have. The Russian doll, the Chinese wall, Taj Mahal, uh, she is a Japanese shrine. I think it was something like Shibuki, uh, Sakura 3, and yellow, the yellow tower. I think that's that's names. So I didn't write it down. So. It will be exciting to see if she next will go over to the US or she will go down to Australia. What do I know? No, maybe she will jump all the way over here. So, but anyway, it will be exciting to see. So two of four parts are done. This is uh, going to be a baby sampler for a friend of mine that is due, due date is 7th of September. So I am way too late to start this. Um, it was because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I wanted it to be special. So in the end, I managed to find, this is a 30, 46 count uh, light lavender by x Design. You can find her on Etsy. The pattern is by Nikki Patterns on Etsy. And uh, I will leave a picture of how it will look like. And the floss is uh, hand dyed by Rolanda on Etsy. Uh, and thanks to the Friday of the grid group helping me with how to stitch with highly variegated floss stitching leaves because going back and forth uh, wasn't good. Of course you have to do it one X at a time when you're doing variegated. And here I just try to do it in a V shape. So it would be more like a leaf uh, and it didn't really come look good, but I did the same here. I only started at the bottom and going up and this one is actually my favorite leaf of them all, but it took 
a whole lot of time and a lot of counting since I'm starting at the top. So I ended up doing as the crafty curator, Leticia, and she said to stitch the outer edge and then just continue filling in the way you stitch the outer edge until the middle and it's giving some really good effects plus as you can see I have started to just stitch the outer edge and parking so I know where to go next when continuing so I can do this as a travel piece uh, next up my haunted mansion style and just work some more in the blue and started stitching the ghost. Next up I finally started my ink circles tapestry. Uh, I'm doing this in floss from Victoria Victorian Motto Sampler Shop and I'm doing it on a 56 count I think it was light sand or gold sand by Extra Design and I'm doing it to 2 over 1 so some really small stitches and I have started in the upper left corner that's where I usually like to start. This is a needle minder that I got in a swap. I really like that one. It's saying this is my happy place. It's the 3rd of August. That means it's arbitrary August. It's also my birthday month. So the 31st of August I am going to start my stargazer by Mirabilia and please feel free to join in my birthday style and uh, where you can either if you have stargazer stitch on her if you want to start stargazer feel free to join me on that and if not, just stitch on the Mirabilia for that day for my birthday. So, or if you don't have a Mirabilia, stitch something cute. <laughs> um, arbitrary August. So, I have to stitch each day on QS Huggable. So that one will be worked each and every day. Um... There, I am in the cross stitch finish line group and doing the stitch a ton that happens to every two or three week. And for that one, I need to know what to stitch on because I have to post it before I start to stitch, count my stitching, and see how much I get done. And what I have done is. I have gotten myself a new um, notebook and it has dividers as you can see uh, and what I did in the beginning is I have written down all my current whips So the first day, the random generator picked number uh, 24, and that was the baby sampler, as you did see. So for that day, I basically stitched these uh, branches and some leaves. Next up, the random number number generator picked Maui Princess, 
this is a pattern that I started for New Year New Starts. And I, when I had started it, I was a little bit regretting starting another full coverage when I have so many not finished. So she has not, she had one day of work on her and now she have had two days. And this is how far I have gotten. So at first I stitched uh, cross country, but I don't, uh, stitching one over one, this is 32 count, I believe. I don't like stitching cross country because uh, if you stitch all the excess around, it's sometimes hard to see and get the needle where it needs to be so the uh, excess will lay nice on the fabric so uh, I yesterday worked on stitching uh, as parking and that lit these two 10 by 10 squares I managed to finish it's basically just at the top here this uh, white dot is this one. For today, I have used the random number generator. It picked number 25, and that is my ink circles tapestry. So over to plans. Next, today I will work on my ink circle tapestry. Uh, the other days, we'll just wait and see what uh, will be picked up. I will, of course, work on my Q is Huggable each day. And I will also try and work on the baby sampler as much as I can. So that's my plans. Uh, so far, it's going well. But I recently got a notice that... Um, I have to daily go to a center from the 6th of August because they are uh, working on finding out if I can work and how much I can work and so on, if I can work at all. Uh, so that will take a lot of time. The problem being is we only have one car. In the beginning, I can use the car, but when my husband start work, he needs the car. And then I will need to travel in another way. And getting out uh, to where that center is, uh, it's a little bit outside of the city. Actually, a long while outside of the city. And there's not much public transport going out. So I will most likely need to take three or four buses to get out, just to get out. And then I have to do the same to get home each and every day. So hopefully we can work something out with, uh, with the car that me and my husband can share it. But so far, um, that's not the plan. And then I will reduce a lot of stitchy time. So yeah, I hope it will turn out fine. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. So, haul. Uh, I have tried to order 8x8 Q-snaps, or this is just called plastic snap frames. They're cheaper than the Q-snap and I think they work just fine. So that's what I'm using a whole lot of. But each and every time they have done something wrong with my order. Like I have been getting 6 by 6, six inches, 11 by 11. And I have never gotten the 8 by 8 that I actually have ordered. So third time's a charm. I finally received my 8 by 8 Q-snaps. Then I did a while ago, 
order some rhyme guards as you did see with the one on the tapestry with the unicorns this is an 8 by 11 it's from M A E designs mm, may designs you can see it okay the reason why I liked these or the fact she did extra width on the Q-snaps. So this is an 11 by 17. Uh, the plan is using it on my Pokemon because it has so much fabric, even on 11 by 17 Q-snap, that uh, this will be perfect to have a place to have all that excess fabric uh, and I also did get a gift inside where she made this um, ort, ort, ort jar or tote I don't know what to call it um, and this will definitely be used uh, I did also order An extra wide 11 by 11 because I stitch a lot of full cover coverage pieces on 11 by 11 and it has these cute boxes I really like this one and she also made an extra gift in this fabric she made this uh, needle case and I also got a needle minder and it's crocheted on the back, the needle minder. So really like this one also. It's nice to have uh, these needle cases. I ordered a set where I got another needle case that I have already started to use, especially for my arbitrary August that was perfect uh, it's perfect for arbitrary August because what I did I just did write down the numbers of the size of the needle and put the needle in this is JJ for uh, John James needles uh, because I'm going forward I'm going to try and try and label them what um, type they are so I can just take a needle for that project and I don't need to have it on the, the project as you can see this is a sewing machine or there was a set where I did get an 11 by 11 extra wide rhyme guard again because I use them for um, a lot of full coverage pieces and I also did get a project bag which has a zipper at the top and at the side and I really love that with this nice flower fabric inside the sewing team. Uh, I did choose my own fabric on the outside and the way she did it I just ordered what I wanted and then she came back to me asking what type of fabrics I liked and then we together uh, managed to find uh, something that did fit me and everyone is over my expectations so I love every one of them then I did a thing I asked where I could find little house needle work uh, patterns from the UK and a lot of people were so lovely to let me know of online shops I could use 
And one of them was the patchwork rabbit. And they have uh, these stitch, kind of like stitch alongs you can do. Uh, you order the set and you will get uh, one to three, depending on how many you want each month. So I bought the Frosty Forest one that I will be getting with fabric and buttons and so on. So that will ship to me every month. It's a subscription. And they also had some Lissy Kate's that I wanted. Life is better with Stitching Friends. Stitch now, worry later. And I also bought this one, Let Them Be Small. It says, you will never have to stay with your children again. Tomorrow they will be a little old, older than today. This day is a gift. Just breathe, notice, pay attention, enjoy today. It will be over before you know it. So I really think that is something that is good for me to have as a reminder. So this will soon be started and stitched. The lollipop stitches had um, these dash saved. So I got home of a needle worker and Lissy K Tiny Tidings number 22. And lastly, this is a dimensions kit I have did see a while ago and um, I am really in love with Aurora. Uh, at least in Norway we have this fairy tale that goes uh, about a snow queen that rides on a polar bear. This pattern really reminded me of that fairy tale and I really like um, the colors in this picture, the blues together with the pinks and the yellow. But that's what I had for you today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing. I am getting closer and closer each day for the 500 subscriber giveaway. So look out for that when I reach 500. Thank you so much for supporting me and everyone that leave these amazing comments. Thank you to everyone that is just a lurker like I have been most of the time. Uh, a lot of people I am just watching and never commenting on and that's fine. That's fine also. Uh, so thank you all so so much. And I will see you in about a week. Bye.